Okay guys, back to one of my favorites, STX-38 Kohler. This one came to me because the PTO, brand new PTO he put in, wasn't working. So, what I did was, I said, all right, let me get it running and see what's going on. Well, wouldn't start. I said, oh, that's nice, wouldn't start. So, I, it wouldn't even crank. I mean, the starter wire, nothing would crank. So I tried to jump it, put the jumper on the starter, got the engine cranking, no spark. Okay, there's no spark. So, uh, take off the plug wire, there is no spark coming out of the wire. Now, two things on that could be the coil or it could be the kill wire to the coil. So I ordered a coil anyway, they're cheap. Uh, so I went to go, I was gonna put the coil in. I said, let me just unplug it and try it. So I unplugged it, tried to start it with the jump. It started, so the coil was good. It was the kill wire, I said, okay. Another problem we have then. All right, so still haven't addressed the PTO yet. So now I look at the coil and the wire coming back for the kill. I go back to the ignition switch and it appears the ignition switch was bad causing ground to go to the magneto kill wire at all times. So when on my shelf, I had a switch sitting there. The only problem with this switch is the contacts were a little different orientation. So I made sure it was a magneto switch, not a battery coil switch. And I put the wires on and redirected them in the connector so they worked. Okay, now I have the starter switch working good. I turn the key, I turn the engine, the starter's working, so now I have a functioning starter switch, starter engine that runs. Okay, so now we go to pull out the PTO switch and nothing, PTO doesn't come on, yada, yada, yada. He put a brand new switch in. Okay, and what I hear a lot of times is that the ground, if you don't have a good ground going to your PTO, no matter what you got, it ain't gonna work right. So I took the connector off the PTO put it on my meter and I checked to make sure that when I turned on the PTO, I was getting ground to the connector and it wasn't. I said, okay. So looking underneath this tractor, there was a black ground wire going to the chassis that was cut off and just hanging there. And I go, hmm, that's odd. So what I did was I clipped the black lead that was going to the connector there. You see, I clipped it off and put an end on it and I put the black ground to the chassis to the PTO connector, put my meter on it, and uh, I was getting power to it. And I said, oh, okay, great. But then I thought to myself, this switch has about 12 terminals on it because there's a lot of safeties that go with it. Safeties to the seat switch and gears and all that stuff so that when you're off your seat, the PTO, you shouldn't be able to engage the blade. So if you fall off the tractor, you're not gonna cut yourself to shreds. Okay, so I said to myself, self, Let's verify this. So I said, let me start the engine. The brake is on, so the engine will start. And let me try to pull the PTO on. When I pull that PTO on, the engine should shut off. So let's try it. When I disconnected the factory wire going to that terminal, I thought I disconnected the negative source being turned on from the safety switches. In this tractor, obviously, it's not the negative that's being switched for safety, it's the positives. So that if you're not on your seat and the tractor's running and the blades are running, if you fall off your tractor, the safety will cut power to the PTO and hence the deck won't spin anymore and you won't get cut. So just guys, please, safety first, verify. Always verify that your safeties are working. When you have a PTO on a tractor, lawn tractor, garden tractor, whatever, verify that if you're not sitting in the seat and the blades, and if you're not sitting in the seat and the engine is running, you shouldn't be able to engage the blades. It's the same as if you're sitting on the tractor running with the blades and you fall off, it will cut power to that PTO to the blades. So just another thing I wanna just express to everybody, safety first, make sure your safeties work. If I didn't get the safeties working and confirm that they were working, I would not give this tractor back. I have to make sure safeties are on, safety first. But just remember guys, on PTOs, a lot of times in electric PTOs, it's that ground wire that gets you. The power could be there, everything could be there, but that ground wire, if you don't have a good ground, it's not gonna work. All right guys, that's it for today. Uh, 
I gotta go inside and take a break. I already did two, three generators this morning, a couple other things. I'm tired. I'm gonna take a break. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.